you want to know? What guests we have on the show? Wake up and let's go To the Mindless Morning Show Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Mindless Morning Show. I'm here with my co-host, Dakota, as always. Hey. And we're joined by a super special guest, Aro Rose, a wonderful singer, songwriter, and basically a rebirth of Marilyn Monroe. If you're watching, you can see. <laughs> so, how, how you doing? Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys doing? Can't complain. Mine. Mine. That is good. That <laughs> <Mine is. laughs> you know. that is good. That is good. See that you're you're in studio. You, you as you had mentioned prior to recording that. Uh... I am. I'm always here. I'm here like most of my days, just trying to be productive. You know, either singing or playing the piano or recording. So just getting stuff done. Nice. And I mean, you you mm -hmm. have those those long, lovely Halloween themed nails right now. How is playing the piano? I do. Oh my gosh! Literally, everybody asks me this question, but it's <laughs> it's funny because I get it all the time, and um, it's 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 actually not hard, really. Like it, I just I'm so used to kind of putting my fingers more like flat on the keys. But it's funny because now that I'm doing a cover song, I have to play guitar in the cover song, so I have to cut all my nails off that's how dedicated i am i'm cutting my nails off for this song so that's, that's so i could play guitar because I, uh, I can't play guitar with nails but i did notice when i was watching your music video for <laughs> when, they, you were, when you were playing your fingers were kind of up on it and i uh, i've i've noticed it more because i was giving my girlfriend crap because she was putting on the yeah. big ones and they're like yeah super, super long yeah um and she showed me that tiktok of the the lady that made her boyfriend put on the really long ones yes. and like try to do stuff throughout the day and oh it was yeah one of the it's, funniest things i've seen it's <laughs> like, hard yeah I'm, it's yeah. a difficult thing sometimes but i'm gonna have to cut them off unfortunately it's fine i'll just i'll get used to it i guess it's definitely a sacrifice so <laughs> but i'm dedicated to the music so you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes nails or music it's a tough choice you gotta pick the right one though yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, music fills the soul. It, it helps people, uh, you know, connect mm -hmm. and, and kind of get through mm -hmm. a lot of things, especially with, with your music. You have uh, some very powerful lyrics within uh, your, your your single Damage. So well, thank we you. To, we have to ask who, who, who hurt you? Do we need to go <laughs> mind up on them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need to go find them. <laughs> oh, man. I guess it's just like, you know, I think it's like a bunch of experiences that I kind of took from like my whole entire life. It's not really about like one specific thing. It's just, I guess, something I feel all the time. And I just rather actually feel somewhat damaged than feel like a hundred percent because then it takes like less pressure off you to be perfect because no one no one's perfect you know so I feel like if you accept that you know there's a part of you that's always going to be damaged like no matter what there's always that small tiny part of you that's always going to be like that so I think it just kind of takes pressure off of me to like feel perfect and be perfect because like I said it's just like it's not you know yeah yeah it's definitely a good way to look at it for sure R -R -R mm -hmm. where, where are you from and like where do you originate i am a native new yorker i am from new york i was born in manhattan and i uh, lived in new york basically like my whole life okay yeah nice. so it's Great. it's pretty cool i'm a city girl i guess you could say <laughs> but um i love it but you know i'm kind of over it as well though because New York, New York City is New York City. It, it could be tough. Oh yeah, it could be a little rough around that edges. I'm so crazy. I, I made the mm. mistake of driving through all five boroughs in one day, and I it's was tough. to lose my mind. <laughs> that <laughs> is why, tough. Why? Driving in the city is like going to war. I feel like it's it's so tough. It's you're because you're constantly battling people, whether it's bicycles or people just like jumping out into the street. Oh my god, it's like <laughs> it's never ending. It's crazy. I hate driving yeah, like, in the city. If you were in a car battling somebody jumping in the street, the car would win, though, right? 
There you go. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. That is true. those battle situations. <laughs> no, that is true. That is one way to look at it. It's very true. I heard uh, you're quite the speeder, though. Am I? Uh, yeah, that's true, actually, because I do drive a muscle car, so that is true. Ooh, nice. okay. I what do. I... This muscle car of yours. Yeah, what is Challenger, it? Challenger, Dodge Challenger. It's like my nice. dream car. So I finally got it after like years and years. I was just like, oh, God, I want a Challenger so bad. And my dad was like, absolutely not. You're going to crash it. You're going to speed. You're going to get tickets. And I'm yet to get a speeding ticket. <laughs> so um i probably will though unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't count as speeding unless you get caught right that is true but no it's i i'm like a big car person so i like cars yeah you probably, you probably know more about cars than i do then <laughs> both of us probably <laughs> maybe maybe you never know right? i i know very minimal about cars but i will say Same. if i have a problem i plug in my little little machine tells me what's what the issue is i look it up mm-hmm. online i can fix it if it doesn't require to go on a lift or anything crazy <laughs> any crazy power tools i can fix it so i'm, I'm yeah. proud of that <laughs> so, so uh, oh, all right ahead. yeah no oh, whatever go man go, go ahead. ahead it's cool no we can do this all night <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna stay here she'll she'll, she'll, she she'll just... let's go back and uh, i was just gonna ask who who your biggest inspirations were my biggest inspirations that's a good question um probably i love lana del rey i love adele i love eminem those are like really big inspos of mine i love johnny depp one after the first two (laughs) eminem yeah i was like you were going the first two and then you threw an eminem and i was like okay (laughs) okay i know everyone's like so shocked when you're eminem but I don't know. He's just like crazy. I I just I love him so much. I love his lyrical ability. It's just insane. Yeah. Like the stuff that he talks about is crazy. And uh, I just think he's so talented. I mean, he is. I mean, he's incredibly talented. So I just, you know, coming because I love like writing about stories and stuff and just like kind of seeing all of his experiences and things that he's written about. I just I just admire that so much that he's been so honest with his life. Yeah, no, I agree with yeah. all of that. I love him and I grew up listening to all of his stuff and still listen to yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me too. I, he'll never get old for me. All yeah. That, all the good stuff. Um, I remember yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were playing video games and uh, he had mentioned that Eminem's actually going to be doing the uh, music for the sound tr- other soundtrack of the next Venom mm-hmm. with Carnage on it. Mm-hmm. So oh, wow. We made Bolted the joke now. of instead of saying <laughs> Venom, he's just going to say Carnage. 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 <laughs> so, I'm for that. But no, I, I I definitely have listened to Eminem most of my life growing up, so that's crazy. Yeah. Adele, not so much. I know her yeah. for sure. <laughs> I've um, listened to my share of Adele. <laughs> and Lana Del Rey from radio and my girlfriend and stuff, but I was just yeah, that's the first thing she great. said when we when we were listening mm-hmm. to it. She was like, I definitely hear like Adele like in her, oh really? in song for sure yeah that's what she said and i was like i think that was one of the inspirations because i had read it on um, a previous thing um on a site that you did an interview with too but yeah that's, she, that's super cool yeah. i like her style of music it's just you know really cool so i kind of want to somewhat emulate it a little bit with my music so are you gonna bust out any rap songs then emulate some eminem stuff Hey. actually yes that's the third single i'm releasing um oh, it's called real? falling apart yeah for real but no Sweet. i don't rap on it though <laughs> i don't rap but um i wrote it okay i, do, I have okay. i have two rap songs actually um i i don't rap on it though i had a rapper um he's so good his name is point blank he sounds like a uh he sounds like kanye a little bit okay. so it, it's cool it's a really cool sound and uh i sing the uh, chorus and he raps the verses and uh awesome. i kind of wanted to do something like how like you know how like rihanna and eminem do songs all the time like mm-hmm. i love when they collab so i kind of wanted to do something yeah. somewhat similar to that so uh that's gonna be my uh third single that i'm gonna drop because it's cool you know i want to like have some hip-hop on the album so when when are when are some of these going to start dropping um i actually have a song dropping sunday the 17th so perfect for halloween i wrote that song about alice in wonderland (laughs) okay okay 
Mm-hmm. Awesome. So what would this one airs, right, Josh? Bef- after that or before that? Uh yeah, it is after that. After. So after. So now everybody can already listen to it. So everybody go and listen to that. Check it out. This is true. We will have the link. Yeah, the it'll be up. Yeah. So was I, it like, thank you. down in the link. Th- this this what <laughs> that what <one>, that what <laughs> always down. <laughs> Sometimes it goes up. <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, what was your inspiration for the Alice in Wonderland? Aside from Alice in Wonderland, did, did, were any drugs involved? Uh, no. Alleged, no. Allegedly. You, you don't <laughs> no. No <laughs> <Look> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no drugs. But I am like a huge Tim Burton fan, like Johnny Depp fan. Really big Johnny Depp and Tim Burton fan. Like I love their movies so mm-hmm. much. So I uh, I just got inspiration from the movie and I just loved it so much and I wanted to write a song about the character so it's pretty cool it has more of like a rock vibe this one it's not like damaged so it's it's a different vibe which I wanted to kind of create with some of the songs because I don't want every single song like to sound the same I because mm-hmm. not everyone obviously is gonna you know like all the songs like the same so i kind of wanted to give a different feel for each song so maybe like someone would like a rock vibe more than like an adele vibe and then someone right. would like a hip-hop vibe more than a rock vibe so that's what this song is cool. well I, I will say damage is a very very amazing song like your your voice thank you <laughs> thank you yeah like, phenomenal it gives me goosebumps listening to it oh thank you so much uh, i don't i don't know how the proper way to, to say this without sounding like a, a dick or coming off wrong. It, it, yeah. It, no, it's okay. It, no, go no, ahead. No, go now ahead. I'm interested in what you're going to say. It, yeah, now I'm interested too. It's a deeper, raspier voice that I really, really enjoy hearing out of female vocals. Like, I don't I don't know the term for it, if there is one, mm-hmm. So, but I, I genuinely like that. And it, it well, thank you. As, I appreciate as, that. Yeah, no, it, it, it definitely comes off as the type of music that I, I can kick back, sip some whiskey, and just have it on in the background and just, like, totally Me vibe too. to it. <laughs> so Thank I, you. I appreciate I'm, that. Thanks so much. I'm certainly excited to uh, see what else you, you got mm-hmm. behind uh, that talent there. So that's yeah. exciting. <laughs> Thank so, you. What, I really appreciate it. What is uh, your favorite Tim Burton film? Because he's got so many amazing ones. I have a hard time picking my favorite. Yeah, oh man, that is so tough. Pro- well, yeah, Edward Scissorhands, like... probably. Oh, what? Edward Scissorhands, probably. That's basically one of like not the best one, but like one of my top favorites for sure. One of your top? Yeah. I love so many. I love uh, Sleepy Hollow, Corpse Bride, Ooh, Sweeney Todd. Hollow. I love Sweeney Todd. Oh my god, so good. Um, I say I say Sleepy <laughs> Hollow is up there for me. That was the one that I, when I was a kid I watched a bunch. I love that one. Sleepy Hollow is so good. I love like oh god I can go on and on, but um <laughs> I yeah so I really just kind of wanted to you know create a song based of like his theme because I've just been like so obsessed with his movies and stuff. I was like you know what what if like he heard the song someday you never know you know that was kind of the goal i want him to somehow hear i don't know how to like get to him or anything but i'm like tim like come on like I, start sh- just start shouting know. him out everywhere social media blast it on tiktok like i was gonna tag <laughs> you know yeah. he ha- he's on instagram he's like on there it so i was like you know what i might just like tag him when i like post about the song when i like promote it i'm just I'm, i might just throw a little tag in there you never yeah, know i mean it. Look, you gotta try, right? If exactly. I don't try, then he might not see it. But if I try, there's a little chance he might. So, yeah, I'll tag him. You gotta I find out what area he lives in and get like one of those airplanes with the timber. <laughs> he's in oh, LA, yeah. I think. I'm. I don't know, but I'm assuming he's like in California, probably. But who knows? There you go. Yeah. So, so <laughs> you're uh, you're probably into Halloween then. I'm I'm assuming. Yes, I love Halloween. It's like my favorite time of year. You got anything exciting coming up for for Halloween? Any shows or anything you're doing? Or any spooky outfits you're gonna wear? Quick game. Um well I did <laughs> <Quick> do <laughs> I did do a photo shoot for um the song. Uh it's really cool. we we created like a lyric video with it that's gonna come out, I think, on Tuesday. Um, and then I was supposed to be performing at wonderama in times square uh this song 
Tarrant. It's called Tarrant. It's about the Mad Hatter. But um, yeah, I don't know if they're doing any live performances anymore. So they're just going to show like uh, videos on the Jumbotron, I think, or on that like big screen in Times Square. So I think they're going to show this song and the lyric video. So I'm dressed as Alice. Cool. And awesome. it's yeah, it's a pretty cool moment. I it was a fun photo shoot to do. It was really cool. We had like the whole tea party scene set up with like the Mad Hatter and like the rabbit and it was pretty sick. We should we should mm-hmm. get some advice. And Josh and I have been talking about doing like a calendar shoot. Josh, we, we should just do a Halloween one. <laughs> that would be cool. That's a cool theme. Yeah. I, that is cool. I'm definitely down to to be like the Mad Hatter or a rabbit. I'll be either. I don't care. There you go. It's cool. We'll have to put not? them together. We'll have to get somebody that's good at Photoshop, though, since we're not in the same area. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I'm man. Florida, he's, he's in Kansas. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, that's uh, pretty far apart. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually never <laughs> met in real life. No, no, not, not yet. You never not met yet. in real life? No. So we had you guys like get to get together. <laughs> wonderful like, world of video games internet and discord yeah that's so cool look at that the internet brought yeah. you guys together it did yeah it brings but... everybody all our guests like i've obviously we've never met in, in person so like i'm <laughs> i'm super true fair to, enough to talk to so many of the guests we get because it just yeah seriously though everybody's really cool i i i've i've found that a lot of people can put on a like a facade online mm-hmm. but in per- mm-hmm. like, not in person but maybe virtually they're definitely different yeah people could always be different like when you do like these like interviews and podcasts you like really see who people are you know yeah. it's hard to tell from like an instagram page because i even oh, find yeah. out with myself it's like you go on someone's instagram you never know how they are instagram's like that whole facade it's fake you know um, <laughs> yeah wait instagram. what I'm, i've been doing it wrong then <laughs> <laughs> our, our instagram it, I, I can't imagine what people get from us we just have like random crap on there like <laughs> <laughs> really dude yeah. people are probably scared for our mashups man <laughs> Facts. oh yeah we do have mashups so do, yeah. are you are you uh do you draw at all or do you oh yeah are you an artist i oh, do draw <laughs> i do draw damn i wish i had like my sketchbook to show you guys but um i was gonna put uh, i was gonna actually do an instagram post because of this month i do like mostly just like tim burton drawings i i drew like edward scissor hands and like corpse bride and i drew i did actually a drawing for this song i'm doing um so i did like a tim burton themed like alice in mad hatter so i was gonna post that nice. just because i thought it would like go with the song but i mean nothing like serious but like you know i do like sketches and stuff like that so well if it, if you happen to have time we got a we got a pretty good mashup coming up that fits that whole theme <laughs> pretty well oh really yeah okay, yeah so- jo- it's josh it was josh's fault how we got this i don't know <laughs> no well, well it sounds it. fun so the, yeah the mashups are we uh will announce to each other like the for the first time while we're recording who <clears throat> cartoon or person that we choose and then we take the two and we have to just kind of combine them and he says it's my fault but this recent <laughs> one i went first and i i i put it out there he made it mm-hmm. terrible so yeah it was my I, fault i chose pinhead from hellraiser and he decided <laughs> Snoopy. So now we have to make a Snoopy Hellraiser. <laughs> wow. That's so, pretty perfect. cool. Snoopy's go. going to Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty interesting and sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. She's like, they're, not good. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, uh, sounds cool. <laughs> they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty terrible we've had a bunch yeah, of random they're... ones they're just really uh really dumb i think that my favorite though was uh piccolo from dragon ball z and stewie, <laughs> and stewie. from family guy yeah that was a good one wow <laughs> sounds good. like it <laughs> it's like what kind of drugs are you guys on <laughs> no it sounds interesting <laughs> we, you know we, it's halloween it makes sense right yeah. yeah yeah no uh unfortunately it, it wasn't halloween for that one that was just uh, oh <laughs> yeah no we've been doing oh. this for a few few months now just random ones so oh yeah uh, that's cool no excuse after that no. no we got nothing <laughs> it's a cool idea though i like it i think it's pretty cool yeah it, it, it's nice for uh you know artist block when you can't think of what what to draw or anything just yeah 
Mash oh, I'm terrible at drawing too. So mine looked like a child did it. So it's, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Halloween and all of that, do you, uh, we've, we've had like some spooky stuff talking with people like ghosts, uh, paranormal, anything like that. Have you ever had anything crazy like that happen? Is there anything in New York where you're at that's like haunted or anything? Um, I mean, I feel like all of New York's like haunted, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I think all of New York's like haunted, but actually, fun fact: the um, damaged video, like the the hotel that we shot it at, is very haunted, and it's like notoriously known to be haunted by this ghost named Emily. And apparently, yeah. she was like, uh, it was like it happened in like the the late like nineteen twenties, and she was on a honeymoon with her husband, and I think he drowned in the ocean and died because the hotel's like right next to the ocean, and. Uh, she never left the hotel and i think she ended up dying in the hotel and to this day like she haunts the hotel and if you stay there you could you could hear like sometimes she'll play the piano at night or like you'll see shadows in the hallways and stuff and we had some like really weird experiences shooting the video because like we would get like in the camera film like some weird like shadowy figure and we'd be like what the hell is that and then we'd have to reshoot it and i was like oh and then sometimes like the the, <laughs> the lighting's techni- off there's no light yeah the here. lighting's <laughs> i know like the lighting's off there's no lighting or like something would like glitch or like one of the phones wouldn't work it was just so like creepy so that video is like technically haunted, haunted. that's cool i guess like, so playing playing the piano and the keys off you're like you're playing the wrong key and you're like i'm not playing shit <laughs> i know I was, like, I was a little freaked out honestly i was like because mm, we were there till like one in the morning and i was a little freaked out but was we got the choice to film there or what we got yeah it was my choice to film there Did you i want to film there. your music video features an authentic ghost that's dope i guess so maybe that's if you cool. look close enough you could see a shadow who knows yeah <laughs> i mean probably it's probably in there somewhere <laughs> probably <laughs> maybe you never know that's cool though so, so what made you yeah. choose that hotel was it because it was haunted or um well i just i love like the theme of it it's like very like old like old hollywood kind of themes like i mm-hmm. very like 1920s 1930s themed and stuff it's very old so i kind of wanted that look for um the video i really didn't want to make like a modern looking music video i kind of wanted to go more for like the old hollywood look instead of like a more of like a modern look um more of that like i guess like the grunginess to like how old hollywood was so Mm -hmm. yeah i didn't really want to do like a more modern themed video i guess so makes sense yeah the music video is great absolutely beautiful um thank you i have to ask were, were you actually crying mm-hmm. what, what, yeah i was what, what were you thinking of in that moment or did you see emily and start crying <laughs> <laughs> um i probably would have started crying if i saw her um well i'm an actor <laughs> i'm an actor i went to uh, lee strasberg theater and film institute for college so i learned method okay. acting so um that was kind of like one of the first things I learned when I went to acting school was like how to kind of turn it on and like kind of cry um after like you know just I guess method acting but um I don't really remember what I was thinking about to be honest with you I guess I was just like really in the zone I was like really into the video so so (laughs) that was my acting skills did you uh start that up prior to singing or No, that was first, actually. That was first. I graduated high school in 2017. And then after high school, instead of going to college, because I I wasn't going to go to college, I was like, no way, I'm not doing academics. That's not for me. (laughs) I I went to acting school because I always loved movies (laughs) and stuff. And uh, I went to acting school for like three years. And I studied method acting for three years. And then I was going to go off to Hollywood and start um, doing like auditions and like try to act. But uh, music kind of came about and it kind of put my acting career on pause because I got so heavily involved in the music i just like i just didn't have time to do both really so you know now it's kind of the music and then i'm hoping acting comes eventually but for now you know it's the music 
cool. So with method acting, that's when you like stay mm-hmm. in character, like even when you're not wherever. Did, did you have- yeah, it's tough because it's like, yeah, it's like, well, it's so draining. Like it's such a yeah. draining profession like acting in general is just so draining because you have to feel like a million different emotions a day and it's basically like just to sum it up easily it, you pull from your own emotions basically mm-hmm. it's like you have to pull from your own feelings and put it into that character so whatever character you're playing you have to find like your real emotions or like a, an experience that you went through and feed off of that so you have to basically feed off of your real life genuine experiences so then the feelings are authentic and real so it's like technically you're not faking it because you're you're pulling from real experiences it's just mm-hmm. not what the character's experience is but you're still using that raw emotion so that's kind of how it is you know it's cool i yeah, guess that is. That's, that's interesting <laughs> yeah. so i've never thought of it that way i was going to ask if you had like any crazy characters that you had to stay like in when you <laughs> were back home <laughs> Yeah, it's not, I I don't know if it's necessarily as much as like staying in character, but more so like pulling from your past experiences or like your emotion and like really putting it into that character. That's what makes it like so real, you know, for a lot of method actors. Cool. Well, I know nothing about it. So, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I have no idea about it. So I think that's cool. Yeah, I guess a lot of people think of it differently. So, I mean... Well, I mean, hear, like, everyone's you hear, different. You hear stuff about like what, like Jared Leto when he was doing the Joker and how he was like doing the yeah, or like Heath Ledger he was like psychotic. <laughs> so. I heard he was crazy. Yeah, everyone, I guess, like deals with it um, differently. I know Lady Gaga went to Lee Strasberg too. She went oh, there. Really? I didn't. Know yeah, that. a lot of people went. Angelina Jolie, Al Pacino, um, Dustin Hoffman went there. Gene Wilder went there. Um, a did lot, to, a lot. Did of you go to, Did you go to school with anybody that I guess is big or somewhat big? I actually did. Um, uh, oh my god! I'm gonna... <laughs> but I don't remember. <laughs> no, I remember her name. No, because I was thinking Steven Spielberg. His daughter Destry Spielberg was in my method acting class. Oh shit! Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Destry Dash, oh. Spielberg. Yeah, I'm not too sure what she's up to now, but. I think she's working on projects, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, she was really nice. And um, yeah, she was in my method acting class. So it was pretty cool. Oh, and um, oh my God, another big, well, since I'm in music, the lead singer of, um, what's it called? There's this band. Oh my God. You know that song, Cigarette Daydreams, Elephant? Oh, Have you ever heard uh, of the band Cage Elephant? Yeah, Cage Elephant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that the lead singer was in my class and I had no idea like that was him. And um <laughs> people like were just like, that's the guy, like that that's the cage the elephant lead singer. And I was like, oh shit, it is. Cause I, I knew that song. <laughs> oh, I, shit, it is. I know that song, but I never knew what he looked like. And then I looked him up on Instagram, I'm like, holy shit, that's him. I think his name is Matt. I think his name is Matt, but I'm not too sure. I think but it's I was really funny. That's so funny. Cigarette date daydream out of all their more yeah. popularly known songs like, i i have is that not all, one of their popular songs i mean maybe not like mainstream but like not mainstream as a fan all, of please. them like i know a lot of their music so i i knew exactly what you're talking about because like i i literally have like all their stuff on spotify but it's uh i thought say really daydream is like a big a big song of theirs i don't know i always hear it on the radio so Oh, okay. I don't know. I, that, I, that's... Honestly, I don't listen to radio much anymore. I don't have to drive anymore. Really? Very, very many places. Oh, really? It's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I'm not driving, I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, YouTube music. Yeah. Basically, now I just listen to like Fair enough. artists we've interviewed. So, like, I've listened yeah. to Damage like 40 times now. And, oh, thank uh... you. <laughs> yeah, so, thank well, you're, you. Well, you're, go- really you're going on our that. artist playlist for sure. <laughs> yeah, we thank have little... you have a little spotify playlist and and uh so oh and, really oh it's so you know, cool e- even thank more you importantly we have an imdb so like we can add your profile on there and like you'll just hit that is so cool because <laughs> yeah that's, well, what, that's what imdb that, does that, that's, a, that's a highlight <laughs> well i appreciate the effort thanks <laughs> yeah, yeah. the efforts there i don't know about what else is there but <laughs> no thank you yeah, there's, honestly there's no in this effort. business 
every little bit helps though like in this yeah. business like mm-hmm. it's just you have to start small and just constantly work your way up to more things but it's 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 a tough business it is tough yeah. I can so, I can one hundred percent though see you being in a very successful Tim Burton film. Like you just have like yeah. have Oh my to, god, stop. That's my yeah. dream. That is literally <laughs> that, that would just I could New Gold Josh, we need, to get, we need to get Tim Burton on the show. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna hook them up together so that she can be in a movie. I That's would the, be able to die but, in peace. I could die in peace then. I, mean, I would be so I'd be so happy. We'll It'd be the best we'll, thing in my life. We'll Tim, Tim, if you're listening, to Botham, if we have to get through her, to him, to Dude. her, so like, yeah. Well, we'll I do look him. like a ghost or a vampire. I mean, I'm pale enough. I look dead. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I'm, I'm right there with so, you. I'm pretty pale. It, just, <laughs> like, the the sheer beauty and like the style you have, like you pull that hat off so well. Thank you. So, and I feel thank like you. It kind I of couldn't fits. wear that hat. Oh, that's for yes. sure. You I, never know. I barely wear this. I don't wear hats. I look bad in hats. So I never wear them. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I've always thought, at least myself. So, really, I like hats. I'm just like I don't know. It's just so easy to throw on. It adds to the look, you know. I used to always wear basketball hats, and my mom would be like, "Oh, you're gonna go bald one day, or you're gonna have a bald spot." I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." Oh God. It's true though. I know. I know so many guys that wear hats, and as they get older, they start to lose their hair, and I'm just like, "Oh yeah." I mean, that's that. Oh I, no. I, I yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good. Long time, like every day for years, and never had any mm-hmm. issues. But I ended up wow. getting tired of it. I'm so gonna- when uh, when you're not in the studio all day or doing method acting, what do you what do you like to do just on any free time that you get? Ooh, I don't know because I don't really have free time anymore. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't know. I mean, like honestly, music and all the, like the whole entertainment business has just like completely consumed my whole life at mm-hmm. this point. So I mean, I, there's really not much like besides like playing the piano and you know being in. Well, I do draw, but like you know, it's mostly just like I'm so consumed with like music now. So it's like it's tough to do really like anything else so that's what, like what the only tough part you to to do everything to to go through and stick with such a busy schedule yeah like especially if you have um, a down day or something like what, what gets you back up to do it and push yourself um well for me like there's like really nothing else like it, it's it's this or nothing for me like i i'm not academic i can't i'm not good at anything i basically failed out of high school okay um there's no <laughs> chance of me going to college um so you know for me it's just like this whole this whole passion is just i've i've wanted it for like my whole entire life and i'm just like it's like my life really i'm very passionate about it and i love it so much so for me it's like this or nothing <laughs> you know so that's kind of what drives me to there's like if there's no plan B. I'll well, put it now, that way. A Tim Burton there. film. That's plan B. Well, that act, act <laughs> and music. Oh, okay, yeah, right, they right, go right. hand in hand. Yeah, one yeah. one. <laughs> but they go hand in hand. But if it, it's really like if it's not this, and my high school yearbook quote was actually, "Don't have a plan B because it will only distract you from having a plan A." Hey, that's actually that's good. I like that. Yeah. So, so that's so why. And it I, does. Yeah. That'll be one of those posts like 30 years from now when you're really big and all those other people want inspiration. They'll, they'll be like, boom, check out the yearbook post that she had. And it'll be that quote right there. And be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you just like, if you love something and you're passionate about it, you just got to go for it. Like, even if it's scary, because this, this career is such a gamble. Like you just don't know. I mean, you're really just throwing the dice here. Um, But, you know, I'm kind of willing to just, take that risk you know yeah. so w- why not I, I mean i'd rather do this than like spend my life doing something that i despise like something that i hate if i went to college i probably wouldn't have enjoyed it it would have been like a mental you know stress for me because it's like i don't enjoy it it's not what i want to do so i feel that i've been through numerous yeah. jobs because i did not like it. <laughs> did yeah. Stay. So I'm doing what I like to do now. So, but before that, yeah, it was, it was went through a rough patch of just like, yeah. <laughs> 
It's hard. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, especially in this business, it's like a lot of people aren't supportive of what you want to do. Like my whole high school thought I was insane. They thought I was crazy. My teachers, my principal, they're like, um, are you okay? They're like when I told them I want to be like a singer and actor, they're like, uh, uh, okay, she's okay. Um, so, I mean, it's, it was been like tough, like dealing with all of that like negativity of people constantly doubting it like ah she's she's not gonna do anything she's not gonna go anywhere but that's what kind of what drives me to uh keep going (laughs) you can't listen to the naysayers so many people uh speak negativity that is in Mm -hmm. in themselves and i think i think yes and no in a sense because like she said i think you do want to listen to them in a sense because it drives you to prove them wrong you know and i feel like there's stories with people like these other musicians, actors, athletes that have gone through Mm -hmm. all of that, where people tell them they can't do it and they're doing it. So I think that's good. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a little motivation, little, you know, drive. And clearly you're doing it. I mean, like, like we said, we're excited. Yeah. Stuff coming out. Thank you. I'm trying to. So like I said, it's just in this field, you really just, I mean, it really with anything, you can't give up. So yeah. just got to keep going and try and hopefully something comes out of it. <laughs> I, I genuinely want to hear a cover of Sally's song from you. I, th- I think that would both be amazing and mm-hmm. get Tim Burton's attention. Oh man, you're right. Oh man, I would Ooh. love to do that. There you go. That could be really cool. Sally, you never Sally's know. Song's a very pretty song. I think with your, I voice, know. You nail it. it is a good song. I should maybe I know. You know, I never thought about doing that because I was so caught up with the Alice in Wonderland thing. But I might just give that a try. You never know. It could get his attention, but I, it probably would. I mean, he'd probably at least hear about it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know. Maybe somehow, some way. Even if I like just DM'd him on Instagram. He probably won't read it, but you never know. I've heard of craziest, crazier stuff happening. So I feel like it's, you know, it's definitely worth the shot. Anything is possible. That's a line in the Alice in Wonderland song. Anything is possible. So you never know. Yeah. Hey, just got to try. It's in, it's in the sports world too. Kevin Garnett said it at some point. Yeah. It didn't make sense at the time, but now it does. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. So you just got to keep going. <laughs> Hold on, I, I have to test my my uh, sports knowledge here because oh, typically, bro, don't like, embarrass he, yourself he's from, again. He's from the Celtics, right? At one point, yes, yes, yeah, he, he right. ended in the Celtics. All right, I thought you were gonna go with the with the recent movie that he was in with Adam Sandler, that diamond one. But you did good. You did good that movie. time. You did good that time. I'm proud of you. Coming from the guy that's like, I know who To is because of that TV show. <laughs> like, bro, I'm really bad with sports. Uh, <laughs> Do you, Me too. Do you watch any? Oh, okay. No, none. Yeah. No. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Fair enough. No, I watch my fair share of football, but you know, hey. mm, what the hell is I know about football? Nothing. <laughs> you don't yeah, need to know about football to watch football. I feel like <laughs> I don't know about. I guess not. Other than hockey. Yeah, so that's the one you have me on. I don't. Know. You look like a hockey player, honestly. Well, I could you. see you being a hockey player. Yeah, you look like I, a hockey I don't know player. That's a, actually a compliment. You, usually they're missing. Teams. No, it is. It's a compliment. <laughs> usually them. Yeah, they are usually or have missing. Have a Russian teams. accent to you, so I uh, push him again. No, I just feel like you. <laughs> I play you look like you could day. be athletic. <laughs> you know, I could see it. Like I could see you swinging. Oh, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, we're yeah. At, one, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at one point. Man, with this yeah. dad bod. Yeah. Not happening. <laughs> um, so, I knew it was done for me when I was coaching kids at seventh and eighth grade and they started beating me. Oh. I was like, oh, time to hang up the shoes, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Kids got energy. They're crazy. I, I remember those days. They are. Yeah. Kids are crazy. Uh, to channel yeah. their energy like as in adulthood that'd be great i yeah. wish i miss my so, kid energy there you go yeah yeah you I, I will say like you you seem to have a very uh calm cool and collective demeanor H- has that always well i mean yeah i mean no yeah i mean i guess i kind of used to have more of like a wild personality when i was a kid but i kind of i kind of mellowed out a little bit so now, now I have more of a, a chill demeanor, I guess. 
she was like kind of Eminem. Then you're you're just like going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slim Shady, of course. Yeah, yeah he gets yeah. me hyped up. He gets me hyped up. Cool. cool. <laughs> what's yeah. your What's your favorite uh, Eminem song? Do you have one? Yeah, I mean, I have so many songs. <laughs> that's that's um, a tough one for sure. I know it's probably what everyone says but probably lose yourself. <laughs> Every, everyone probably says that, but I don't know because I like. I like beautiful. I like yeah, mockingbird. I like Stan. I like love the way you lie. Um, I like Superman. I don't know. I like so many. I can't. I just. I can go on and on about it. But yeah. probably lose yourself is like a good anthem. I feel like to get me motivated. Yeah. So yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, yeah it's a classic. Enjoy my band from D12. My band from D12. That's a good one too. <laughs> Purple Pills. That one's a good one from them. I like some of his new ones. Like on his new The Murder album. That was really good. Like he really popped off with that. Like that was mm. that was good. Yeah. I, I don't think I've heard the new Murder album. The uh, Kamikaze is the least, uh, latest one that I had heard. And, oh, uh, you got it. It's 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 nowhere. Yeah, Kamikaze. It was, was alright. I love yeah. it. Kamikaze. Yeah, it's, I mean there were good ones on there for sure, but it wasn't his best. Not like the the music to be murdered by. Is that what it's called? This new one? I think music to be murdered I think by. So. I sure. think it's something like that. You gotta try the murder sold. album. I'm that is so sold. much better. It is so much better. Godzilla, I think, is on this album. It's so good. Yeah, Go no, so it, is, it is music to be murdered by. You're right. Yeah, that, is. that yeah that that check out that one it's kamikaze cannot compare i love him to death but i'm sorry marshall you're, you're <laughs> i'm sorry marshall i'm sorry, but, I'm sorry. Uh, he, he it's okay to, but he owns up to it when when that shit happens so he probably no, like, was, oh, i know <laughs> it, it, uh, yeah no but no he really popped off with murder album so good it's yeah. really good I'll, I'll definitely have to check it out then uh, speaking of albums when when are you releasing your highly anticipated album <laughs> um i don't know that's actually a really good question because i don't know myself um probably well i'm gonna release two more singles and then i'll probably release the album probably after christmas i don't because you know all the christmas music comes all the holiday music starts to come out in november and i kind of just didn't want to get lost in that whole thing so i'm probably gonna release it maybe in like january okay yeah i'll wait a month i'll yeah, wait a we couple were, more months i don't know where we were the other day we walked through some store and they're already playing christmas music and i was like are you serious <laughs> like yeah already. you know i feel like <laughs> once the holidays come around it's like everyone kind of gets so involved in the holidays uh, like, other music kind of gets like pushed to the side a little bit so i just thought maybe like january february would be like a better time to release an album kick off the I, new was, year. I was gonna say you should try to yeah. shoot for uh, Tim Burton's birthday, which is August when is 25th. it? Fifth, but since that's a little later, you could shoot for January fourth because that's my birthday. I could shoot for that, then I will. Mm. Then I will. That's really cool. And jo- Josh is important. His uh, birthday is hey, important to a hey, lot of big people out there, so I think oh, <laughs> people would notice. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm sure they would. <laughs> no, he Dakota is being a total dick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she was oh, so that's supportive me. <laughs> that was <It's> like, so nice <laughs> I, I don't know if i can believe you because i know now that you're an actress so i, I don't i don't know if you're oh, that's right true now. it's all been an act. this whole thing's been an act <laughs> the whole thing the whole thing has been an act she's gonna she's gonna end it take off the hat and wear her hair is not even blonde <laughs> i know i'm not even arrow i had someone else yeah. do this podcast for me all of a sudden you hear a voice from the back door, what are you doing that's my interview <laughs> <laughs> i know it could really be like that could be that would be yeah. an intense plot twist you that never know cool. I'm, I'm like it would be kind of cool now, like, can you take off the hat and prove it? <laughs> yeah, so the squid game I promise I'm Arrow. I promise. I don't know. That won't come up. Uh, I can't believe it now. <laughs> it's well, attached. Oh. <laughs> it did. That's what, keep, moves, so that's what keeps the, the calm and chillness is the hats. If she takes it on, then the other personality comes out. Exactly. Then my boring personality comes out. And, oh, I was thinking like the wild, crazy side, not boring. <laughs> oh, the wild, crazy side? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think my rock star personality is more exciting, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Teach their own. 
I, I see though that you got a lot more excited during this interview talking about Eminem and the murder album. <laughs> so yeah, 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 he yeah. he holds a special place in my heart. So and so does Tim. <laughs> Eminem and Tim. If so, a movie with Tim Burton and a collab with Eminem. Those are the two things. Yeah, that <laughs> that that would be pretty and awesome. A, and a meeting with Johnny Depp. Yeah. <laughs> a meeting yeah i, I don't know nice. how many i don't know how many of these things we could could try to make happen but we can try <laughs> i don't know actually fun fact one of the hollywood vampires follows me on instagram Ooh. so i'm this i'm this close That's to johnny a start. Depp. yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> Right. Nice. It's a start. Right? That is the end of depth. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm closer, right? If, yeah. You know, you never know. Maybe he'll be at a party someday, and that I get invited to. I'll meet him. You never know. He'll walk over and be like, "I really like what you did with that Tim Burton Sally song. That was amazing." Mm. Uh, I'd probably like, need CPR. Have you met my friend Tim Burton? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god i would need like cpr i need a hospital <laughs> hold on for one second uh, <laughs> yeah hold on wait one sec just Johnny, pass Johnny, out and die well, i wouldn't even do anything to me but i would pass out just talking to him because <laughs> i mean he's johnny Depp. can you not like who wouldn't pass out That's meeting him on, like, catch me johnny <laughs> <laughs> catch me i'm falling oh my god please I just pass out in his arms like he falls <laughs> down <laughs> i would like fall on him he would fall back oh my god this is so funny <laughs> Like, I'm um, sorry, Mr. Depp, but this was worth it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at you, deep. I'm sorry. Eye. Are you all right, man? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Just pass out <laughs> again. Maybe he would start doing CPR on me, and then I'd really die. You know, you and then go. I'd actually die. You never know. Yeah, you like the kid from like the what? kid from Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that would be me with him. Literally, like. The, that would be oh, oh no there's a pool at this party <laughs> oh no i'm drowning I, uh, I hope johnny depp doesn't save me <laughs> <laughs> oh no i hope not where is he uh, I'm please not johnny now. don't save me I'm, I'm saving myself for ryan reynolds oh ryan reynolds is awesome he's really cool you, know, you have a long line of people on that one i know you do <laughs> it, it, it's it's my man crush so I, I gotta ryan reynolds is awesome who doesn't love deadpool dude he's yeah, good man. yeah that's, uh, I, I love him and everything except blake ryan. blake lively is a, a lucky lady <laughs> she is they're such like a top tier couple they're amazing oh like, yeah for sure they're such an incredible couple they're, they, they're like the perfect hollywood couple like they're just amazing yeah i don't know who beats them out i i would uh i guess if i had to put it in in uh i don't know to contend it would be john krasinski and oh Emily that's a good Dawn. one that is a good one. Oh yeah <sighs> Even though he's, he's good, he's a great actor. Is it, is it weird? I the know. only one that's coming up for me is Jay Z and Beyonce. <laughs> Jay Z, that's, that's all and I've got Beyonce. right now. <laughs> that is a good power couple. That that's a power couple that right is a there. Power couple though. There's a lot of power. Beyonce Beyonce's acted before. I don't so, think Jay Z yeah, has. But she has, man. yeah. There's, oh, and uh, Ben Affleck and J Lo, I think, are back together. Wait for real. Yeah, they are. I know They're her back and together. Broke up, so. Yeah, no, he, she's wow. back with Ben now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking of the South Park now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Bean! <laughs> um, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so yeah. sorry. You're, you, you've come on. I'm so, so sorry. This, show. this is yeah. what happens. We get all sidetracked and random. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's fine. It's, it's entertaining. You guys are very entertaining, so I don't mind. <laughs> oh, we appreciate that. <laughs> no we got problem. something going for us. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys do. We tried the music aspect in, in our intro for the show. If you've heard it, it's it's pretty bad. So we, we didn't go that mm -hmm. route. Yeah. yeah. Music our music career ended isn't. quick. <laughs> isn't our forte we uh we tried that uh, we did I, honestly it's pretty for good. us for us i think it was pretty good yeah but yeah i think if like you gotta try if, right 
a celebrity yeah. came out with our song, like it would be an instant hit. I think it'd be all it'd be all over the radio. It's, it's not. <laughs> hey, you never know. No. You could always like sell sell your music to celebrities. You know, they might want to sing it. Yeah, you know? I, drop it as a single. Well, I guarantee you would never want to sing sing our song. But is it, I mean, is it that do, bad? She'd probably make it sound like a hundred times better. <laughs> like, yeah, I would yeah, take a crack true. at it. I, I, it's if, like if, it's like what like two lines, <laughs> four yeah. lines. <laughs> it, it, it's very few, but uh, yeah, I, shit. I I'd pay for an RO Rose rendition of, of uh, our intro. Hey. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I could pull it off. The expectations is hard to live up to, that's for sure. It's <laughs> hard to be yeah. currently there. I mean, the bar's been set pretty high. So we worked yeah. we worked really hard on it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even like willing to admit how long we've worked on it. Because... No, we did we did we did spend way too much time for how it sounds. <laughs> oh man. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's good though. I'm sure it's entertaining. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, it gets the point across. We were going for like that jingle that gets stuck in your head, like the subway. Like the subway song. song <laughs> yeah. Or like the JG Wentworth song. Like yeah. the songs that you just know from yeah. commercials and stuff. We were trying we were going for that and I don't think we accomplished it. <laughs> it was pretty catchy though. Hey, we were told by people it was catchy. I'm sure it's very unique. Yeah. Well, now, now we're yeah. that's the nice way to say that it sucks. <laughs> I know. No, I don't know. I haven't heard it yet. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's unique it's, though. It's very um unique. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's good. Well, it it has been a absolute honor and a super pleasure having you on. And I'm well. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. I'm so happy to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been fun. I'm, I'm super Thank you, guys. To, to see what the future holds for you because I, I truly believe you are definitely 100% talented in music. I can't speak Thank to you for acting because I've never seen you act. Except for tonight. Acting, enjoying, like you enjoy this podcast. So <laughs> I, I, I think it's pretty good. I think you did good. There no, too. it's been awesome. <laughs> Thank you. No, I've had a really good time, honestly. It's been a good time talking to you guys. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm well, glad. Everybody, make sure you because Josh says they're on the bottom. So check down below and check the links. Make sure you to check out our music because you will not be disappointed. It's 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 good stuff. For sure. Thank you. And Thanks so much. Is there anything you would like to say to viewers as far as chasing their dreams, singing, acting, or, or anything at all? Just life at, in general. Um, I would say never give up. And never listen to what other people say, because you know what, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy and you have to do what you're passionate about and what your heart tells you to do. And you can't listen to what other people's opinions are because it's not their life. It's your life. And you never know. You could always make a greater impact. So you just have to keep trying and don't give up. Don't give up your passions. I like it. That, that is my little advice for the viewers <laughs> like it's a good message yeah it's just like in skyrim just kill the npcs they don't matter don't, don't, <laughs> that's don't what you got them. that's what you got from that <laughs> okay yeah you know it is what it is. You, you stay mindless everybody <laughs> yeah that was yeah stay mindless thanks for tuning in <laughs> thank you for listening to the mindless morning show we appreciate you picking us out of the many great podcasts out there don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to get notified whenever we release a new episode or bonus content. Now go enjoy the rest of your mindless day.